What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and Champion's Path is finally here. Uh, took a little bit to get some products. Vendors taking, uh, I'm not gonna say taking their time, but uh, seems like it's just a perfect storm of various releases. And so it's taking some time. Obviously Champion's Path gotta be the most hype I've ever seen for a product to a point where it's like, yeah, it's madness. Uh, so we finally got our stuff. I spent, I think, uh, on release day, actually one thing I really want to say first is I do like the way they did the sealed product. I don't know, just that little glossiness. Uh, that's a great, awesome box uh, for ETB. But um, so to get an idea of how difficult it is, I'm in the kind of like Boston area and went, I was probably driving around for like six hours <laughs> trying to find some products and ultimately we did find some but it wasn't any etbs i uh, did get these from game nerds this morning and there it is this is what the card that everyone wants it seems obviously we want those charizards but everyone's going nuts for these etbs and it can only be for this guy it's a basically um i guess there's like you know sleeves and stuff like that energy whatever that's what this is why you know people are paying like know, triple the price for this card uh don't do it in case you didn't know, for our patrons, uh, we are offering breaks and I'm doing these ETBs for $40 for VIP patrons uh, while supplies last. So this first one is sponsored by our patron A-Rod. A-Rod, thank you so much for the support. Let's find some great cards for you. Here we go, our first pack of Champions Path. And uh, while I have looked at this set a couple times, um, it's been a little bit. We'll put that to the side. All right. So energies are the same. Let's get this box out of the way. And I will send this to you. Actually, if you want to get this graded, let me know. Otherwise, I'll send it to you in a card saver. That way, you can get it graded, uh, sealed. Although, I do. I imagine that's kind of like a uh, niche kind of thing. I've never purchased a sealed PSA card although I do have so some of the uh, birds single glass birds for that reason still in the plastic all right so first pack we got a double Zygarde let me just take a look at this card basic 130 return discard eh. okay so as far as the set itself it does feel like it's one of those sets where you got to find that Charizard and if you don't um, you know, Constellation Prizes, there's not too many. All right, from the side, it does look like we have something. What is going to be our first Champion's Path hit? All right, so still tweaking with the camera angles. And this one, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm kind of further away from the desk. I think I should be able to kind of up, up, um... Ooh, Venusaur V. Let's take a look at this card. 220, Pollen Bomb, 80, Sleep and Poison. And then 220, near next turn, can't use its attack. So if we use this in some kind of Rillaboom, uh, Rillaboom, like the Voltage Beats, then you can get out Pollen Bomb right away. Sleep and Poison. Uh, I guess all they really need is a switch to get out of that. Let me get up some sleeves. All right, I'm kind of not prepared as far as my setup goes. All right, gotta sleep for you. So our first hit is a Venusaur V. I think there's a couple cards that sounded interesting outside of the Charizard. Uh, I am a big fan of Gardevoir, so hopefully we can find some of those. And then the Alcreme. I think the VMAX sounded pretty strong. If you do play the online game, looking for some code, check out some of our Twitch streams or Twitch and YouTube streams where we stream PTCGO. We do giveaways for code or for basically online packs throughout. We got a Altaria. So this is an interesting card. Uh, basically, it's kind of like the uh, Decidueye where you can't take damage from V or GXs. And this one was only a stage one. Downside is, while it's kind of nice, you can use like um, the twin energy or the power energy. It is only 60 damage. And then a Scrafty. But yes, we are offering breaks. Um, and for VIP patrons, they can get a 
pretty good discount on everything. Again, ETVs two per month at $40. And I think the other ones are kind of like a few dollars off MSRP for all the various products. Our first reverse energy, um, I kind of like it. I feel like the kind of like lack of detail kind of like makes the foil stand out a little bit more than a lichen rock. You know, I'm actually gonna put a sleeve on this guy. Anyway, how have your champion path polls have been so far? Hope everyone, you know, was able to pre-order the product and if they haven't get it and they had, or, you know, anyone that went out looking, hopefully you had some luck. I was stopping by basically every Target, Walmart, and then eventually as things opened, Barnes and Nobles too. There was only one place where they had two double and one set of pins. So I was kind of disappointed, but you know what? One thing I will say, it was actually kind of fun. Um, you know, a new set comes out and just trying to, going through the experience of trying to find the packs in stores, going all over town. Um, you know, not very, feel like I didn't get a very good result for the amount of time I spent, but it was, uh, you know, thrill the hunt kind of thing. So I did appreciate that. Alright, so far we just got one hit to field. But I'm curious how people feel about this set. Again, the hype is thing hop. <laughs> I hop uh not a big fan of hop. The card is underwhelming, it's basically or it is how. But uh the the thing um What? Another Venusaur Hey <laughs> I hope you're a fan of Venusaur. But the full art hop does look pretty good. So, double Venusaur for this ETB. But yeah, we'll be doing plenty of breaks. At some point, I'll open up some product for myself. Probably keep it uh, to, like, the pin collections and stuff like that. As, yeah, the ETBs are so popular. So, I imagine a lot of people are going to want to pick those up for their breaks. All right, Rolly Coley. Another one. And then a Machamp. I do like this art. That's a pretty sweet one for Machamp. Let's see. Macho Revenge. 20 damage for each uh, fighting Pokemon in your discard pile. Interesting. Dynamite Punch 250 damage to itself. It is a stage 2 though. But I guess the cool thing about this Macho Revenge. Like if you. If your opponent knocks out your Machamp. That's. You know, that's three. That's not just one, so. Oh, obviously it doesn't count if you use, like, rare candy or something like that. There's the much. Wow. The much. Like, the art. This much hop is very cartoony. Then this is super serious. Then I really like the much hand. But that much choke is pretty good as well. Malamar. Hyper Potion. Alright. B Drill. This looks like it's cut off center, poison stab, poisoned, and then Obstagoon. Once your turn, you may have your opponent discard from their hand till they have four cards in hand. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Imagine that'd be pretty good. Um, actually, no, you're not going to. Good luck getting that on turn one. I suppose if you went first and you're up against ADPZ, so that way you can evolve after they uh, Intrepid. Ooh, I definitely saw something for this pack. Looked like it was a silver border, uh, so maybe like a full art supporter or something. Alright, third hit for ETB, pretty good. <laughs> There's that hop I was talking about. Um, centering is not great, you kind of look at this this uh, border and these two compared to the others, so I feel like that's enough, I would imagine, to get downgraded to a 9, uh, but if you do want to get this graded, yeah, not a very good card, but I will say this art does look very nice. Alright, let's see, let's put you in a perfect fit. Okay, so it seems like, I haven't watched too many videos, I didn't want to, I kind of want to be going with open mind as far as pull rates, but just from people on, um, Discord and stuff, they said it's not too hard to get the, the Charizard, but the pull rates overall are nothing compared to Hidden Fates. But for ETB, I feel like we're doing really good. Uh, solid three hits plus a reverse energy. And then, of course, you could do that, that Charizard. All 
All right, last pack. We just have one more ETB for a rod. And I think now we can start speeding up, unless we see a card that I'm not familiar with. Most of these are reprints and a second Lycan Rock already. All right, I would say that was a pretty good ETB. Let's grab number two. We did get one textured card. But yeah, I do like the packaging. And uh, yeah, I don't have enough space around me. All right, let's grab these. Wow, look at this. Look at this code card. I suppose like it's fine if the code card gets a little dinged up as long as this guy is fine. And yeah, looks good. These are just creases in the wrapping, of course. And there you go. Charizard number two. All right. Ten more packs. Hmm, that's cool art. All right, let's speed things up. Rotom phone. What is this? Look at the top five cards. Choose them. Put the top of your deck. Hop again. But, um, ooh, another Altarian, it's <laughs> reverse again. Hey, Alcrame V, heal 30 damage from each of your bench Pokemon. And then Sweet Splash, if defending Pokemon is a basic, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. All right, so um, that is, that sounds pretty good too. That's hit number five for this break. Ah. So we do have a new turtle. I mean, Dreadnought is not too bad, but Trudel just looks so weird. It's a turtle with a Meeseek's head. I cannot unsee it, unfortunately. Okay, let's see, Yo, Grunt. Um, but yeah, if, if you're still trying to find products, I mean, it is very difficult to kind of like exercise patience in this situation where you're just dying to get some cards uh i just don't overpay yeah it's really hard to find it in stores um i think on the pokemon center website was uh, like obviously not etbs but they had most of the other products as of yesterday in stock there's still um probably a few vendors out there that still have some just don't overpay i really i don't know when you see things going for like double triple the price that's to me is just uh way way too much to pay oh my gosh altari i feel like so a couple pictures i saw on discord like a bunch of altaris and they were all reverses so in a marnie all right Let's see if we can't get a few more hits I am curious about how the pull ratios come out and um, yeah, hopefully see what a big of a difference when you have it. two Charizards to hit versus just one. All right. Ooh, another reverse energy and fighting. And then that Machamp again. Hmm. Right, I guess this set isn't too big. We're starting to see a lot of um, the same cards. Two Venusaurs. <laughs> Second Machamp. What was that? Third Altaria? Not the code card. What? There's no code card here. It must be still in the pack. Oh, I can see it. it's still in the pack. All right, <laughs> that was weird. All right, let's see. Kakuna, I kind of like that. Ooh, I like that Ekans. Pokemon Center Lady, and then a Marnie again. As far as a set goes, as far as like the rest of the set, yeah, there's a couple cards that stand out. Um, but I like the like the reprint, straight reprints. Yeah, I would say it's not super impressive. All right, starting to wind down impacts. But as always, Arod, thank you so much for the support on Patreon. And uh, ooh, all right, hit number 
Uh, five, not counting energies. So we got a Whale Lord V. Attach up to three water energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon. That's not bad. And then to set up a Ocean Waves 120 times three coin flips. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if there's how eager people are to get this card graded. I would say it's not perfectly centered. I'm not sure if it's off center enough to get bumped down to a nine though. All right, that's non-energy hit number five. Actually, as far as that goes, you know, even if we uh, completely whiff on the rest of this opening to get five out of 20 packs, so one in four hit, that's pretty good. I feel like, especially coming off Darkness Ablaze, I was pretty disappointed with how the bonus packs pull rates felt. All right, there's our first regular Altaria. That's a, is that a play set of Altaria <laughs> two ETVs? I don't think A-Rod plays this competitively, but um, you should be good on Altaria if that's something you want to try. Yeah, I felt like the Darkness Ablaze booster box rates were pretty good. It seemed like I was getting to like eight per box. Uh, but then on the, yeah, those bonus packs were really bad. Really rough for at least myself. All right, two packs remaining. No Charizard in this initial opening, but we're going to keep trying. We have um, a good amount of products coming. ETBs will obviously be difficult to get a, get a uh, healthy amount for breaks, but the other stuff was a little bit easier to procure. And first 20 packs, we got... Oh, there's the VMAX. Okay, <laughs> this is a interesting uh, Gigantamax version. It's like a ginormous cake. But this is a pretty cool card. All right, 310 HP adornment for each of your bench Pokemon. Search your uh, deck for a Psychic Energy and attach it to that Pokemon. So that's massive ramp. And G Max Whisk. Discard. It's kind of like, um, what was it, Reshiram? But 60x. But it doesn't say that there's a limit. So you can discard a bunch. And, oh, it seems like this print run. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone else noticed. But, like, it seems like all the cards are shifted in this direction as far as the back goes. So, very nice hit right there. Perfect fit for you. All right, and I'm... Um, yeah, so we only have one pack left. It's the hope, is, like, there's still a very small chance we'll get a Charizard. But even, like... So, what? 20 packs, 6 hits? I was like, yeah, it's... Not, not, uh... Actually, this is pretty close to, um... Hidden Fates rates. Like, uh, I suppose we're... Out of 20 packs, 50% hit rate, including reverse energies, we would hope for 10. And right now we're at 8. So that's pretty close. So I'm pretty happy with this opening. Alright, last chance though. I'm not sure. Also, I'm super curious. What are people looking for? Like, hey, you're going to pull a Charizard in this opening. Which one would you want? Would you want the Shiny or the Rainbow V Max? I think for myself, I'm kind of leaning towards a V Max. But, uh, all right. Third Lycan Rock, I think. All right, A Rod, I think you did pretty well in addition to your two promos. You got a good amount of hits. Double Fighting Reverse Alcrame V, Whale Lord. Double Venusaur, which is kind of strange. Hop himself. And then the Alcrame V Max. So. All right, pretty happy with that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the Patreon link down below if you want to get in on some of these breaks. Uh, we're offering them um, all at re lower than MSRP. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, so just real quick, um, I kind of mentioned Card Saver 1, and actually someone, shout out to EMC, asked this on the Discord channel. My suggestion would be, and uh, I can absolutely send this to like people that get breaks, in this fashion, this is how I would kind of like recommend storing it. So you kind of put it in one of these card savers. So this is like the card saver that they recommend you use for like PSA submissions. And uh, so, you know, I, I don't know too much about getting these things graded like still in the plastic, but I just know it's a something you can do. Um, and why not keep that possibility alive? So I kind of just, I'll, you know, this is how I recommend storing it. This is how I'll send it to people if they do want to keep it sealed. So, all right, that's it. Peace.